And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we'll be talking about uh, Expansion Faction for Rum and Bones. This is Mazu's Dreadful Curse. Now, if you don't know anything about Rum and Bones, go watch my review of that. But if you haven't played it, then, or if you have played it, I'm sorry, then I'm going to tell you about a new faction. This is a Chinese-styled faction here with a panda bear. Let's take a look. Now, of all the factions, this one here has a, the weirdest setup. There's actually three small ships. So they're set around one of the big ships from the original game like this. And if you're using the French faction, there's even a, a weird way to set the three ships up with two ships. So you have three different gangplanks. And each of your objectives, you only have three of them. They have 12 hit points, so they're hard to take out. But they're worth three. So if the enemy takes out three of your objectives, you are in some serious trouble. The way that... The um, deployment zones are, they start here, and when your guys come on them, by the way, that bosun's pretty awesome looking. When you come on them, you move over and then go forward. Move over, go forward, and over there. But more than that, there are these whirlwind points here. Basically, think of these as warp points. You can go from here to there to the other ship, and the enemy heroes can use them too. So you have to be really careful. Let's say you say, for example, I'm going to protect these two ships. You guys can have that ship. When you do that, they're going to get over there. They're going to be able to pop in over here, and it gives you extra points where the enemy can come and attack. And I like that. It makes it a very free-flowing game. If only these guys can move, but they can. Let's take a look at these heroes. First, we have Lo Fang here who can hit someone and then move one zone. So he can come in and hit back very quickly. He can also make somebody else move three zones per move and can pass through zones containing enemies, which is very useful. And he can switch two people. The captain is a massive attacker who can reroll a die in his normal move, but he can also push enemies, and if he de damages a hero with this attack, he'll do that same to all the other enemy heroes. Zaya, the red mist here, if she rolls a one on her on their normal attack, she steals money, but she can also move through people and do damage and steal money through the heroes that she moves through. While her very awesome seven wind strike, before she attacks, she can move three zones, and then place them, uh, she can move through zones containing enemies, and then can place enemy heroes pass through in the zone next to her. So she moves through, and then nails you with six dice that are three or higher. It's going to be really difficult to not use her, I think. But then again, you got a guy with fireworks, who can blind people, uh, but then he has a massive attack that's eight, well, if you're next to him. If you're one, two spaces away, then it's six, and three spaces away, it's four dice. Still, though, I like that. And he has all those fireworks in his back, which you think would be incredibly dangerous. And then everyone will be happy to know there's a panda in the game. Yay! Here, uh, if he has eight or more damage, he will slow other people. When you roll, he can take three damage, and for each damage he takes, he, each of your hits will be plus one damage. So that can really do a lot of damage with this single hit, which is okay. Pandemonium, though, he can move one zone for every two damage on him and he can knock heroes overboard so he can rush through and attack other heroes. This comes into play though, this movement with some of the cards that they have. Zephyr's tricks where they can slow and stun people, but here, place a deployed friendly hero in any legal zone of your choice. Really awesome card. Again, notice that it though has two Kraken symbols on it. Here, for every move action you take, you get coins. Here, for every attack, fives or six do extra damage. Here, you get immediate free move action. Here, you move an additional zone for each move action. You're moving three instead of two. Here, you get plus one die for every move action. Here, you can play it on someone else, and they suffer two damage per move actions. So, now let's take a look at these models. As always, the models look good. The captain is a mega huge guy. There's a little guy riding on top of a big guy here. Just a very big character. The panda is the one I'm sure everyone's going to want. Um, he's beckoning to the enemy to come after him. Here's the fireworks guy. If I'm not, a, I'm not a painting guy, but I would imagine this guy would be a lot of fun to paint. And so the models, as always, with Coleman or not, look fantastic.
Okay, so that's how this faction works here. They're a faction of moving quickly. Now, the French can move on the rigging, so they're jumping all over the, the ship. I look at them as agile people who have the ability to move all around. These guys just move fast, and they're coming in, and they hit hard. They move fast and hit hard. In fact, they're probably my favorite faction out of all the factions. I, I like the undead, too, though. But I like these. I love the models. I love the diversity. I'm carrying fireworks. I got a panda. You know, we can move super fast. It gives us extra coins and stuff. And I like how they just work. I like the three little ships. That's a neat idea. I like the warp points. Their biggest disadvantage is they're hard to defend. You, even though they can move fast, your enemy with a relentless attack can come in and just plow through them and destroy them. Once again, though they feel very different than the other three factions that are included so far. I like them very much and like I said, really neat. So if you like rum and bones, you're probably gonna wanna grab this faction. They don't feel like just another ship. They feel very different and unique. That's Mazu's Dreadful Curse. Dice Tower of Judgment, into my collection. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door!